So we came to Silicon Valley thinking, let's do another episode of TNS Eats. We did it in Austin. We went to some local spots. So we thought, huh, we have pancake breakfast. Why don't we get an idea of how pancakes are thought of around the world? So this is our international attempt at TNS Eats Silicon Valley. An interesting pancake that I've had is called a netashniki. So my wife is from Poland, and a netashniki is sort of like a tiny Polish crepe that you can put either dessert filling into or like sausage and stuff like that. It tastes super good, and um, the best ones are from Poland. Out here, it's just imitation netashniki. It's not good. I have a friend who has like a. Um I don't know if these count as pancakes, but she has an Abelskyver pan, right? It's a cast iron pan with little dimples in it, like a, you'd serve hard boiled eggs out of almost. She pours the batter into it and out come these little puffed up balls of pancake goodness with apple chunks in them. Yeah, it's a German thing, I guess, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, they're real good. I'm from New Zealand. Uh, basically in New Zealand, pancakes are called pikelets over there. Um, they're not, not as thick, they're a little thin, mm -hmm. and uh, basically you just you eat them the same way with syrup, cream, uh, with strawberries on top. Dosa is American version of pancakes, right? It is this, they use the multi, uh, multi-grain powder for the pancakes, uh, but we really use the uh, rice, right? Rice, uh, so you have to grind the rice. With the rice, we will prepare the dosa. Dosa, you should be eating with chutney. Chetni, yeah. Uh, so chetni is basically uh, uh, prepared with uh, ground nuts yeah, and spicy to it, uh, the green chilies. Potato pancakes that my uh, grandma used to make. Uh, we'd have them maybe with, uh, with uh, sour cream on them, which is kind of bizarre to think about, but I could eat a whole plate of them. I think the pancake is only as good as the syrup that's on it. Uh, same is true with waffles, crepes, whatever you want to call it. And I think growing up in Hawaii, there is only but one syrup, and that is the coconut syrup. And I find that it is really disparaging towards coconuts everywhere that you come here to the mainland and you don't have coconut syrup. Most cultures do have some kind of like bread, uh, you know, incorporated within them. Like, like in America it could be like a pancake. Like in Mexico it could be like a tortilla. Like in India it could be like a naan, you know. In Ethiopia it's this bread called injera, which is like a soft, spongy. It's a fermented bread. It's much bigger than a pancake. It's circular. It's about 14 inches in diameter. It's made from this grain called teff. It's a very small grain, the tiniest grain in the whole world the tiniest grain in the whole world, but by itself, it's a gluten, this grain itself is a gluten-free grain. So we um, essentially mix this with water, let it ferment for two days, and we bake it like on a pan. So we apply heat from the bottom, uh, and we close it with a lid, so we steam it and heat it at the same time. It takes about 45 seconds to make one, and essentially that's like our bread. And that's a part of like every single meal. If you ever have Ethiopian, like this food, this bread comes with whatever dish you order. Could be either vegetarian, lamb, chicken, or beef. With our bread, you're literally breaking your bread every time you eat. So you get this bread, you unroll it, you break off a piece, and you use that bread to pick up the different kinds of foods. Within Ethiopian culture, we order as a family, and we share a plate amongst you know the, the you know the four of us, the two of us, the three of us, however we may be. And and that aspect of like eating together, taking a bite out of the same plate, it's very intimate. It kind of brings you closer. It's like a pancake, spongy pancake. And you rip it, and you take the meat, and you pinch it, and you take a bite. And yum. <laughs> so the geeks seem to uh, like Ethiopian food. They, they do, they do. As a matter of fact, uh, the geeks of all, Mark Zuckerberg was here. And he had he actually had his first Ethiopian in this restaurant, which we which uh, we we are very proud of. Maybe one day, Stacky will make injera pancakes in Ethiopia. <laughs> <laughs>
an injera pancake breakfast. Wouldn't that be great?